Okay, so in this video I'll show you a, uh, the right way to reactivate uh, your magnet field software. So if you have magnet field loaded on your data collector or your computer, open up pretty much any job. It doesn't matter. I am in the default job, but you can open up any job. So I'll just do maybe this guy. It doesn't matter. Open up any job. And while in the main screen, you can ignore the connect if it actually prompts you to connect to a device. We can hit home, hit the little drop down uh, under the M magnet drop down in the main menu, hit activate modules. And if you have any modules that are uh, expiring, you will see them in this list here. Now, uh, if you purchased a renewal on your maintenance, for example, your maintenance might uh, be the only one that will have an exp expiration on it and you might have purchased the expiration and you're still bothered by the fact that it doesn't show the right date uh, and that's just because you have to reactivate the software and in order to reactivate if you just hit the activate button over here uh, make sure that you are connected to uh, an internet provider or you're connected to um, wi-fi on your device or through a cable to uh, have internet access on the device that you're actually trying to activate. Otherwise, there is an offline activation. It's just a little bit trickier, but online activation, hit next, uh, input your credentials. Uh, this is mm, for me over here, username and password. Uh, if you don't uh, remember these, there's a way and I'll show you how to actually uh, recover this, but uh, we'll hit next. Uh, typically the serial number that you will have in here will be something that's unique to your company and your account. Um, the device ID is going to be grayed out and it should remember this and you should have this on your invoice from whoever you actually uh, renewed uh, the software through. Then hit next. You have to accept the license agreement, hit activate. And I can't demonstrate that because I do not have an outdated software, but you will see that uh, everything else uh, should stay the same and your maintenance, for example, will have a new date on it. From this moment on, your program will uh, inherit the actual servers, license servers uh, expiration date on the software. Um, that would be it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.